Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's video we will be creating a minimal and clean logo animation inside of After Effects step by step. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. And without any further delay, let's dive into After Effects and start creating this cool and creative logo animation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit on this little icon or hit Ctrl or Command plus N, this is gonna be final composition 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second and for the duration I will go 7 seconds long. Hit OK and let's create background, go right click to create new solid layer, this is gonna be background circle and very important step is to go 3840 by 2160 4K solid and then hit OK. Now let's animate this background circle, but before that let's select this solid layer, hit Q on your keyboard and turn on titles and action safe. And while you're holding Ctrl Shift and Alt on your keyboard, let's go and select this ellipse tool, Ctrl Shift and Alt, and draw a perfect circle from the center of our composition. Let's go to somewhere around here. Okay, now select this option, pan behind or hit Y on your keyboard. And let's also select this background circle and move the anchor point to maybe somewhere around here. Okay, as you can see my snapping option is turned on and now go here to around 3 seconds, hit R for rotation and let's create our first keyframe and then go to around 0 seconds and let's go to around 130. If you want to see opposite animation just instead of this 130 type minus 130. Okay, now select both of the keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard Go to graph editor and draw a curve like this okay and if you can see curve like this just go right click and hit here edit speed graph okay now select both of the keyframes hit ctrl plus c to copy go to around maybe four seconds or somewhere around here and hit ctrl plus v to paste it and then go right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes now let's hit zero to see the animation this is our first part and as you can see this is our second part and this is looking good okay now let's also draw perfect circle here in the middle of our composition hit q again or go and find this ellipse tool make sure that our fill color is set to this solid color and stroke to none and make sure to unselect everything here and go here to the center of the composition hold ctrl shift and alt and draw a perfect circle like this okay and then go here in the facts and preset type here fill effect drag and drop on our shape 01 let's also rename it circle 01 okay go here in the fill effect and type here 21 21 and 21 to get this shade of gray color hit okay and let's also drag and drop this fill effect to our background circle and let's type ef ef and ef to get this type of white color hit okay and now select this circle 01 i will close the effects control for now hit Y on your keyboard or go here on this pen behind icon and let's also reposition this anchor point to maybe somewhere around here and as you can see my snapping option is turned on. Now let's make this circle all one smaller maybe from 1 second and 15 frames okay and now let's go to around maybe 2 seconds and 15 frames hit R for rotation set up the first keyframe and also while you're holding shift hit S to show scale parameter Set up the keyframe also for the scale parameter, then go to around 1 second and 15 frames. And for the scale, let's type here 0. And for the rotation, let's go to around 90. Okay, now grab all of the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor, and let's draw a shape like this. Okay, and now let's select all of the four keyframes, hit Ctrl plus C, then go to around 4 seconds and 15 frames, and paste it, hit Ctrl plus V. And let's also go right click, find here keyframe assistance and select this option, time reverse keyframes. Let's also go here to the graph editor and draw the same curve like before, something like this. Okay, and now let's hit zero to see our animation. This is our background animation. And as you can see, our middle shape is looking cool. Now let's select the circle 01 again, go here in the facts and preset, find 
drop shadow effect, drag and drop onto the circle 01. And for the distance, let's type here 10. And for the softness, let's go to around 50. And also for the color, let's type here E, F, E, F, E, F, and then hit OK. Now let's duplicate this circle 01 for a few times, hit Ctrl plus D, move two frames ahead, Ctrl plus D once again, OK, two frames ahead. This is gonna be also circle 04, two frames ahead, and the last one, circle 05, also two frames ahead. And now when we hit zero, we have our background animation and cool circles in the middle of the composition. Now what we can do is to select everything, circle 01, all the way up to circle 05, hit U to show all of the keyframes, and for this circle 02, reposition the keyframes to somewhere around here, circle 03 to somewhere around here, repeat the process for the rest, circle 04, and also for the last one to go somewhere around here. Okay, now hit 0, and we have our animation in order, and this is looking awesome. Now what we can do is to import our logo here in the scene. As you can see, I already have this logo for the example, just drag and drop here in the timeline. Okay, make it smaller also, maybe from one second and 15 frames. Okay, hit S maybe to go around 20, according your needs. It depends on your logo size, maybe 21, somewhere around here. Use arrows on your keyboard if you need to reposition your logo. And let's also hit Ctrl plus D for this circle 05, move above our logo, and this is gonna be matte, okay? Now let's go here to around 2 seconds, set up the position for our logo, and set up the first keyframe like so, and move it up for this Y parameter to maybe somewhere around here, and let's go to around 3 seconds, go right click and reset, find here reset option. Also for the track matte, let's go and find alpha matte for this matte option and then select all of the keyframes, hit F9 and go to graph editor and draw a curve like this. Okay, now let's hit zero to show our animation and this is looking awesome. Now what we can do is to select both of the keyframes, hit also Ctrl plus C and then go to around maybe 3 seconds and 15 frames, paste it and also repeat the process, go right click, keyframe assistance, time, reverse, keyframe. And now as you can see we have our in animation and out animation and this is looking awesome. Now let's also draw another shape here in the final composition, hit Q again or go here on this ellipse tool, make sure to unselect everything, then go again here to the center of the composition, hold Ctrl, Shift and Alt and draw also a perfect circle like this. Before this one, just make sure that our stroke is set to 2 pixels and our fill is set to none, okay. Our name this one to thin circle, like this, okay. Now hit S for this circle 01, copy the scale parameter, also make this thin circle smaller from maybe 1 second and 15 frames and also paste the scale parameter for this thin circle, okay. Now hit U to show all of the keyframes and delete those two last keyframes. And now as you can see we have also this animation of our another circle. Now go here in the facts and preset, find fill effect, drag and drop on the thin circle. You can use also eyedropper to select this same color like before or hit 21, 21, 21 again here. And as you can see our animation is looking cool. Now open up this little triangle thin circle 01, find here add and then let's go and find here option trim path. Go here on 1 second and 15 frames, open up this trim path option, set up the first keyframe for start parameter and then go to 100% and also go here to maybe around 3 seconds and type here 0. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and draw the same curve like before. Ok, this is looking cool. Hit U again to show all of the keyframes, grab just trim pad keyframes, do not go on scale, hit Ctrl plus C and then go to around maybe 4 seconds and paste it somewhere around here. Also go right click keyframe assistance and hit here time reversed keyframes. Open up graph editor and also let's draw the same curve like before. Okay. And now in our finals, let's hit zero, we have cool in animation and 
also cool out animation. This is looking awesome. And for the final step, let's also create here text layer, hit Ctrl plus T or go here on this little icon, horizontal type tool. For the font, I'm using this Montserrat regular, for the font size 37. And let's type here text, your site.com. This is just random text. Of course, you will type your own text. Go here in the facts and preset, find fill again, drag and drop onto the your site.com text layer and also use eyedropper. Now select this text again, go here on align and align it to the center. And if you can't find align option, just go window and you will find align here. Use arrows on your keyboard to reposition according your needs to maybe somewhere around here. Okay, now open up this little triangle, go to animate, find position. And now go here on add option, do not go here again on animate, go on add property and find opacity. And here let's also make further adjustments. Make this text layer smaller, to maybe also 1 second and 15 frames from somewhere around here. For the position, let's go minus 120 and for the opacity, go to 0. Now open up this animator 01, find here range selector and for the offset, set up the first keyframe here at 1 second and 15 frames. Okay, and let's type minus 100, then go to around maybe 3 seconds, somewhere around here and let's go to around 100. Now what we can do is to open up this advanced option. For the shape instead of square, let's go to ramp up. And for the ease high and ease low, let's go to 100%. If you want to randomize order of our animation, just hit here on. Now hit zero to show the animation. And our animation is looking awesome. To make sure that our animation is inside the boundaries of our shapes, just hit Ctrl plus D for this circle 01, move this above, let's rename this one to text mat and select this yoursite.com and find here alpha inverted mat. And this is looking awesome. Now hit U to show all of the keyframes again, select them, hit Ctrl plus C and here from maybe 3 seconds and 15 frames, paste it, go right click, keyframe assistance, time reverse. Now let's hit zero again. This is looking cool and our nice animation is here. Maybe to move this yoursite.com down a bit more and this is looking great. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. And this was a really great technique to create your own logo animation. You can use it, of course, in your own videos, in your own project to make your videos even better looking. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Also take a look on my profile on my channel to see even more great tutorials. Also you can leave me a comment down below in the comment section. All the links are in the description. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.